Good morning, good people of the internet. I trust you're all good, all of you. I'm back at work. It was a nice night at home, our new furnace worked perfect. It is beautiful. Oh, that thing heats the house up fast and it burns less fuel. So that's good, right? That's good. It's a high efficiency furnace that we bought for our house when we moved in and it's supposed to cut our, our natural gas usage down by 30%. I think that's what he said, right? Something like that. So we'll see if it works. Kept the house warm. It heats the house up way faster than the old furnace, that's for sure. And it has two stages. So once it heats it up all the way, it doesn't need to always run it 100%. It can run at one stage, and if that's good, it'll shut off. But if it needs that second stage, that extra oomph like it does right now, because it's minus a billion outside, we have that extra stage, and then it just... Just exactly like that. It just pushes all the hot air through the house. I'm very happy with it. Very happy. It was a Lennox furnace, and uh, very happy with it. Anyways, we're here at work. Let's go take a look at our trailer. I hope you're all wearing your toques and your mittens, because it's cold. So we hooked up to 108DB here and I'm just charging it with air. Uh, hopefully, hopefully these brakes released. I could feel the trailer shake a couple of times already, so I know a couple of them released. I'm gonna try pulling forward now. Make sure all the, both axles and all the wheels are turning. And then we gotta go to Kenora after we tie these tarps down. I just don't wanna tie these tarps down until I'm sure I'm taking this trailer. Because if those brakes are frozen, I'm not messing around with them, I'm gonna pick a different one, a better one. Okay, blue. I know it's not up to you what the trailer's doing, but can you talk to your friend back there? Tell us to be nice to me. Okay. Trailer is charged. Charge the truck. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, please, please don't be frozen. Don't be frozen. Oh, we're moving. That's a good start. That's a good start. The axle's turning though. Nope. Well, the ones on this side are stuck. Which up on that side? That side's. I might have to crawl under there and see if I can bang on them to look, get them to release. I can't get them to release here. Oh, oh, one just released. I just got one left. Got one left. Okay, so we got her out to here out in the open so we can work on her. All tires, all wheels have released except for this front axle right here. So we're gonna go and uh, have a little talk with it, with the snipe bar. Do a little bit of, uh, you know, give it a little bit of motivation. You see, sometimes you just got to talk to it nicely. Other times you just got to get violent and whack it. We're good to go. Well guys, that's not a good sign. We're back in the shop. Got it back to my shop because it's going to have to go into the technician shop tomorrow. She's throwing codes at me. Left, straight, and center. Actually, just one. Throwing me a bit of a curveball here, but don't worry, I'm I'm quite a swinger. I'm quite a batter. I'm gonna hit this one out of the park, I think. But uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. So uh, I'm getting a code. I had an engine light pop on. Getting a code on my dash that says engine speed. 
I don't have anything that I can plug into my truck myself and check the actual code. But from my research, engine speed, it's probably either the cam, camshaft uh, speed sensor or the crankshaft speed sensor. I think that's what they're called. And one is up here. And the other one is down there. The wires both meet up right here. Now, I'm not a technician, so please feel free to laugh at me if I'm completely wrong. Okay, so this is what my Google research has gotten me. I'm not a technician. Disclaimer. Anyways, what my theory is, you see how I got this wrapped up in tape here right now? The electrical tape and thing that was sealing this whole joint together had cracked open and formed a little bowl right in there. And I think some moisture had gotten in there right into this joint here. And possibly the wires to both speed engine speed sensors have been corroded and not connecting properly. Thus not telling my computer on my truck the proper speed of my camshaft or crankshaft. I'm gonna stop talking now because I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I am just repeating word for word what I have read on the internet. So I'm humble enough to admit that to you and tell you I'm gonna take it to the professionals who actually do know what they're talking about and uh, we'll see what they have to say about it. I had an engine light come on, and then it went off. And then it came on, and then it went off. And then it stayed off for a while. And then it came back on, and it stayed on for a long while, and then it went off. And then it came back on, and then the red stop engine light came on and started dinging. Oh, okay, that got my attention, that got my attention. I'm, I'm paying attention, Blue, what do you want? She's trying to tell me something, but the truck doesn't speak English. It speaks in code. I've been trying to train it, but you know, these things are hard to train. So, after that red engine light came on, stopped the truck, let it sit there for a while, all of my gauges were fine. My oil pressure was fine. My engine temperature was fine. My, uh, uh, all the gauges were fine. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Looked under the hood, got plenty of coolant. My coolant's not low. My oil's doing good. I got lots of oil. So why does it have a red stop engine light? So I don't know. So the red engine stop engine light cleared itself. Uh, so it was just the engine light left and the truck was still running good. And I was just down the street by that time already. So I got it the rest of the way here to my shop so I can keep it in the warmth at least overnight. And when I'm filming this today, it's a Sunday. So the shop's not open until tomorrow. So I gotta bring it in tomorrow. So at least it's in the warmth. I think I'll be able to get it started in the morning and bring it to the shop myself without a tow. Uh, as long as that red stop engine light stays off. But, uh, oh, oh, it's an old truck. These things happen. I'm hoping it's just going to be a simple fix. Like, honestly, I'm really hoping it's just what I was showing you right there. I hope I'm right. I could be completely wrong, and all the technicians in the comment section are, are already making fun of me. That's okay. Make fun of me. I, I'll admit to you, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm hoping it's just a, an issue like that where some lines got corroded and they need to be you know, replaced and fixed. And so, Why does it look like my face is swollen? It's a little cold. It is like minus 30 outside. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting old too. Look at me. I'm not 18 anymore. Yikes. You can tell, can't you? But anyways, that's my story. And uh, that's all I know. So, got got it in the shop here. Oh, I'm gonna take the tarps off of there yet. Put them down on the ground, so because I, I don't need to take those to the shop. They don't need those. And uh, truck is filthy, but at least it's uh, not covered in snow and ice. It'll be warm overnight. It's okay, Blue. Everybody gets sick. I was sick last weekend. Now it's your turn. I hope I didn't pass what I had onto it. Oh man, I'm so sorry if I did. But uh, I'm just a little bit sick and get it. Take her, take him to the doctor, him, her, take it. Take old blue, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna take blue to the doctor tomorrow and uh, see what they say. I'm a little bit worried. The truck doctors are very expensive, but they're worth the money. They're, they're very good. I take it to PBX truck service nearby here. They're the only ones I authorize to work on this truck. The only ones. So when something like this happens, I want only their hands and only their wrenches on my truck. 
we'll get her figured out. Hopefully, uh, they'll be able to, uh, you know, sort of like an in and out, like, a, oh, that was easy, replace the wire, maybe replace a sensor or two. Hopefully, it's nothing on the internal of the engine where they have to open it up. I hope they don't have to open it up. But hey, this is part of trucking. This is part of owning a truck. I love all of it. This isn't my favorite part, but I, I still love the life all, all together. Even today on days like today, I still love what I do. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go home and, uh, you know, I'm glad this happened at home. There's some positive news. I'm glad that this happened at home or I was just actually on my way to Kenora and uh, when this all happened, it's better to be stuck at home than to be stuck in a hotel on the road. And then I have to pay for the hotel too and I'd be alone all by myself. But now I can go home and sit, relax, hold my boy, sleep in my own bed, my own wife. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, my own wife. <laughs> You know what I meant? Sleep in my bed, my own bed with my wife. Uh, it's gonna be good. So that's my story. Let's head home. We'll worry about this tomorrow. This is a, a tomorrow problem now.